Okay, hello guys. I uh, hope you've had a great Christmas and New Year. Um, I'm just getting back in the swing of things after the kids have gone back to school today. I've got the dreaded flu that's going around um, my region, so I apologise if this is a scrappy video, but I just haven't got it in me to keep recording or editing or whatever. Um, so, got some decent insights after this governance vote that you might be able to use when you choose your delegations today. Let's quickly explain what happened in the governance vote. Um, the previous vote power lock was 10%, so all of these guys here would be able to dish out these reward rates per 100 wrapped songbird that you delegated. Now, as the vote power lock has been dropped out to 2.5%, if you were delegating to Evolve here and they double the 2.5%, that means you only get half of this reward because you'd be diluted. I hope that makes sense. The fact is, Anybody above 2.5% means you're not going to get as many rewards as you've enjoyed recently. Now, I haven't put a spreadsheet together or anything here, simply because this is kind of an experimental week. It's worth noting that the vote power isn't just about reaching the cap. It's not just about staying under the cap. The guys with the most votes get the best weight to their price feed that goes to the FDSO. So if you're at the top and you supply decent prices, you might get selected, even though the guys down here are uh, maybe providing better prices, but they don't have the vote power. So this is why we talk about the uh, decentralization and getting below that 2.5% that and, and spreading the vote power across the whole network. It's a good thing, but it does make it harder for us to get the rewards. So let's have a little breakdown of the reward rate. We double click here on flaremetrics.io and it rearranges things to be in order of highest reward rate. Now, the last few weeks, all one FTSO has been dishing out the best rewards. They're currently a little bit over that reward rate. And if we come down to the guys who are well below the 2.5%, we can see they're dishing out like 0 0.30, which is kind of half of what all one FTSO are dishing out. So if you want to keep things simple, you could just stick with O1 FTSO, take the small hit of this vote power, um, which potentially could drop down below 3, you know, um, and then you're not faffing on by trying to create extra wallets and share the share the love across all everybody else. Um, so that's one option. If we come down and view who's in the hot list, kind of the top 10 area, you've got Oracle Swap and s towards here they obviously give extra rewards um same with flare oracle with their s support and they aren't diluted so if you're collecting s ribbits or you have been thinking about delegating to get those s ribbits or the other tokens that obviously flare oracle and flare or oracle swap sorry dish out then they won't be diluted that's a little bonus um we haven't seen massive prices on their tokens so it's just worth noting that you will have those bonuses if you're into their projects and i guess the little nugget of information i really wanted to share was if you come down here we have these guys a little bit obscure they don't stand out as the greatest reward they're certainly well below the vote cap and they only started delivering price feeds to the Songbird network in the last week. Uh, these rates aren't going to look that great, but if you search for these guys, you find that they are flare.space, and they have been delegating to the flare mainnet price feed for quite some time, and they've been sharing their reward rates. So they're doing very, very well over there, and it's their first week delegating to, um, to the Songbird network. So it looks like this obscure chap here could be a great bet to stay underneath the 2.5% and watch this climb as the weeks progress. Um, they have got a high reward, um, what's it called? High fee in the sense that it's 20%. But I don't think that's going to make much difference over this week where people are getting diluted left, right, and center. We've got Ivy Oracle as well, so you could spread across these guys. Um, or like I say, a mix of the highest reward of maybe all one, whoever stayed online the longest. And yeah, it's good It's good to share it out. Um, 
I'm doing a little experiment with Flare Oracle. I want to see what their S4 rate is. When I looked into it, their, their algorithm of uh, what they dish out in S4 is quite complex. So instead of me trying to put pen to paper and do the math, I've done um, an allocation to them. Um, so I am allocating my delegations to two providers this week. And I've got an iPad on stand with an extra Bifrost account. So I can pull that out to four quite easily with the things I've got. I've also got older iPhones knocking around, which uh, potentially I'll boot up and get another Bifrost account and then they'll be in airplane mode offline, you know, between boat lock periods. And that's a very safe way to keep care of your uh, assets. So just to quickly wrap up, I may not have covered half the things I wanted to cover, but effectively, if you stick with the highest provider, you're probably not going to get diluted that much this week as we progress and see what's going on. It's well worth having a look around and seeing if you do want to earn the extra rewards from Oracle Swap, uh, Flare Oracle, S Tords, and the lower rate providers down here are obviously a nice gamble if you're confident that we're going to get some sort of a boost in their reward rates through the week. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the outcome is. I'm very much looking forward to Monday when Flair tokens get to our wallets. I did say a reminder that the distribution will take time. So if you're thinking of staying up until midnight on Sunday night and uh, watching it land in your wallet, that might be a fruitless exercise. It sounds like it's going to take a little while, maybe a day or two, to actually distribute as it's the biggest token drop in history, obviously. Um, but there you have it. I'll be back, hopefully, feeling a little bit healthier. Um, oh yes, there's the mention of their address if you'd like to search for them in Flare Metrics and I do believe they're already listed as Flare Space on Bifrost. So that's about it from me. I hope you're well. I'm going to go and get well and I will be as active as possible in the future. Um, just got to get myself back on my feet. Take care for now. See you next time.